Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you how you can create and customize the map chart within Power BI. And before I move on, just a quick information that this sheet where all the Power BI related tutorial is present along with the YouTube link is present in the description. And you can directly jump on any of this topic and in future also I will keep on adding the topics in this sheet. All right, so now let's move on to what is map chart. How would you create it? So here we are within the Power BI. And if you see, this is the map chart which has been created for Canada and uh, its various province have been highlighted with the respective value. So this information is uh, very useful if you if you if your executive is at very high level and want to understand how each of the province is doing then then this becomes a very attractive chart for them and uh, it's very easy for them just to quickly look at that ontario is doing really great however this particular category or over here this one is is not doing really good also you have the option of zooming it and with the help of your mouse you can move up and down and based on how detailed information is present so right now we have at province level but even if you have at the city level information you can even go go to that level also so let's see how we can create it by first of all let me delete it and uh, the map chart is present over here so if i just click it and uh, let me try to expand it now over here there are a couple of fields that we need to add first is the location so location is nothing but the province so the province information as i added you will see that a circle or the bubble has been added and it's the same size bubble as compared to previous chart where i've shown you the bubble was either bit uh, big or small we'll sh we'll see in a minute how we can even do that then we have the legend and uh, we have size size is basically where the uh, the bubble will come so what i'll do is i'll bring the size information over here and you will clearly see that uh, in some cases the bubble is pretty high so ontario in some cases like the new found sand or uh, in this particular uh, province the value is uh, or the bubble size is pretty low apart from this you have one more interesting point which is legend it was not present in the base chart which i was uh, showing you earlier but this is very helpful if you further want to bifurcate your chart over here. So for example, if I let's say add the customer segment on the legend, you will see that it is now changed into a pie chart, which is uh, if you will put it over here, the customer segment information is also coming along with the uh, province information. So here corporate is definitely the highest one followed by home office and then uh, the small business and Finally, what you have is the consumer. Similarly, over here, ha more than half of the sale is done by the corporate. So that's the sort of uh, interesting information you can bring in when you add the legend. So I'll just remove it. Uh, I wanted to show you for your information. Uh, then we have the formatting options. Right now, the data color is default color. You can change it from here to anything uh, other than if you want so earlier we had this green color but if you want anything else you can change that also you have the conditional coloring right so for example if i just choose this and based on the field field i want to choose is the profit because sales we have already taken lowest sales should be red highest sales or highest value should be green and it should be based on sum and i'll click ok and you will see that uh, Ontario not only sale is high but also the profit but these regions does not or even Northwest Territories or Yukon Territory or even I guess here Prince Edward Island the, there the sale is present but not with the good profit so this is another level of uh, detailing that you can do within the map uh, inside the Power BI now if you want to erase this you have this eraser uh, by which you can come back to the normal condition or the normal situation um, category over here uh, if you want to enable that it will show you the uh, information or the category which is nothing but the same information so up to us whether we want to show it or not 
So in this case, I'll just remove it, but just wanted to show you this option and the bubble size. If you want to reduce, increase or decrease the bubble size uh, so that it is clearly visible, the size option is present here. Uh, some map related options. So we have this map control. Do we want to provide auto zoom or not or zoom buttons? So once we add zoom buttons, you will have these zoom buttons added where you can zoom in, zoom out based on your needs. Uh, you have some map styles. So map style is present right now. The road style is present, but you can have aerial style. So this is how it will going to change. And if you have dark style, this is how it will change. Uh, the light style uh, and finally the grayscale. Okay, so I'll come back to this default road and there is an option of showing the label or not. Right now it is enabled, but if I unchecked, you will see that those labels have gone. In this case, what we can do is we can only show the labels which is uh, related to the category. So in this case, uh, only where the bubbles is present is the information is coming for those categories. So that's I think is more useful instead of showing all the different labels over there. So that's mainly uh, the option that you have uh, related to this. And there is this heat map option as well. But right now we do not have the data points, so I'm not showing it over there on this. But rest of the other option is related to the general formatting as to title, background, border, shadow and all, which you can explore as per your needs. Also, if you must have seen the uh, latitude and longitude, if you have those data points for accurate point of view right now, it's the Power VI which has generated longitude and latitude. But if you have your own latitude and long longitude, you can put it over there for much accurate representation of where the bubble should actually present. But that's about how you can create and format the map chart. I hope you have found it useful. Let me know into the comments. And if you found it useful, please don't forget to share it with others so that they can also be, uh, they can also learn about it. All right. Now I'll meet you in the next topic.